So, good afternoon, my dear students. Today we are going to uh, continue with our chapter accounting of not for profit earning organization and today we are going to learn about the treatment of stationary sports equipment etc okay uh, that is the consumption of stationaries or consumption of sports materials okay so how to find it out and i'm going to illustrate with the example for all of you so here is an um here, here are the formulas being set so <clears throat> let's start for the treatment of subscription because subscription um क्या होता है कि वो एक इनकम होता है जिसमें हमें क्या होता है कि मंथली हो एनुअली हो मेंबर लोग पेमेंट करके अपना मेंबरशिप रिन्यू करते हैं ठीक है लेकिन इसी के लिए उसका ट्रीटमेंट वैसे हम लोग जैसे पिछले दो वीडियोस में किया था वैसे होता है लेकिन ये जो स्टेशनरी होता है या स्पोर्ट्स इक्विपमेंट होता है ठीक है इसमें क्या होता है कि वी परचेज इट वी यूज इट एंड टू द एक्सटेंड वी यूज इट वी टेक इट एज अ कंज्यूम्ड वन एंड दैट द रिमेनिंग विल बी यूज नेक्स्ट ईयर and will be removed from the current year's expenditure suppose you have purchased goods for 10000 this year okay this year you have purchased goods for 10000 and last year unused goods were 2000 so first of all you are going to use last year's one 2000 plus this year what you have purchased 10000 so 12000 you have now suppose you have got uh, throughout the year you have used it and now you are seeing that we you have got 4000 rupees of stock with you which is not yet used so that means how much have you used Last year was that. Uh, last year two thousand was there plus purchase of ten thousand this year that is twelve thousand minus four thousand four thousand is not yet used. So how much you have used eight thousand rupees. So that will be taken as that particular stationery or you can say sports material consumed. Okay, so that is the concept. So that using that concept only you are going to use here. So here it, we are we are going to have some more items, some more uh, description about that. So let's see what it is. So uh, let's see the formula first. First of all, we are going to start with the total payment, whatever you have made for the uh, particular item. Let's say for stationery. Okay, so total payment of stationery during the year, whatever the total payment you have made, that will be your B. Okay, starting with that, then comes the add opening stationery of last year. Last year, whatever opening stationery, uh, last year stationery, whatever there is there. Okay, closing stationery. Last year's closing stationery will be this year's opening stationery that will be added. So, saman ko ham log apne saath le lenge kam karne ke liye. Add creditors at the end of the year. इस साल के creditors कितने थे? Okay, how many? What is the creditor of this year? So creditor at the end of the year, you are going to add so that you will know what is the amount of credit. Say sorry, um, what is the amount of credit purchase you have made? Because here the total payment refers to cash payment. Okay, so we are going to add the creditors. That means credit purchase. Okay, so after that we are going to add the advance at the uh, advance of last year or advance you can say at the beginning of the year. अगर Beginning of the year's advance, I mean, last year's advance, right? So last year's advance means this year's payment, right? So that is why we are going to add it because it will relate to this year. So whatever you will get, that will be the amount of stationery that you have got. Now from that, what you are going to deduct? Less closing stationery, the unused one. Okay, remember, closing stationery means the unused stationery. Unused. Okay, the unused stationery. Okay, then there, along with that, we are going to less or deduct creditors at the beginning of the year. Whatever the creditors were there at the beginning of the year, that will be deducted. Okay, after that, we have got advance at the end of the year. Creditor at the beginning of the year also refers that the credit purchase of last year. So it was last year's amount. So that is why you are deducting. Okay, then advance at the end of The year and the end of the current year. Okay, end of the current year. So current year means this year's advance. So this year's advance simply means that this is related to this year's advance. Means this year's uh, this year's advance obviously related to next year, right? Next year's money. So that is why advance at the end of current year. That means this year's current and uh, this year's advance means obviously it will relate to next year. Okay, so that will be also deducted. Okay. After that, the total deduction has been done, and after that, what you will get? That will be your stationary consumed. Okay, that will be taken as stationary consumed. Right. Now let's take it as an example. Suppose take for example that total payment of stationary during the year. Okay, pura payment, the cash payment हुआ है इस साल, वो क्या ten thousand. Okay. Add will be the opening stationary. Opening stationary means जो पिछले साल का 
सामान यूज नहीं हुआ था वो इस साल हम लोग पहले यूज करेंगे सो एड विल बी दन थाउजेंड रुपीज ठीक है इट्स जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल ओके देन कम्स नेक्स्ट वन एड क्रेडिट परचेज वट यू हैव डन दैट इज अटर्स फॉर द करेंट ईयर से फाइव थाउजेंड ठीक है एंड Assume that that last year we have received advance of 1000, so that will also be added last year's advance. Clear? The total comes to seventeen thousand. Okay? Total uh, relates to seventeen thousand. Now less whatever stationery that has been unused, say two thousand. Again, less will be the creators at the beginning of the year. That is last year's paid purchase, two thousand five hundred. And again, less will be advance at the current year. Advance at the current year means this year's ka advance mila hai, matlab last year ka paisa five hundred rupees. after doing all these things we will get the stationery consumed so here we are getting 12000 so this is the amount of stationery consumed this will be shown in the income and expenditure account okay it will be shown in the income and expenditure account okay which side let me refer to that debit side income and expenditure account debit side clear so remember that it will be coming in the income expenditure account debit side now one more important thing you should know that while doing this particular type of sum first time as i have explained you might be thinking what is that you might be confused totally you try to hear this video repeatedly and giving little interval okay say 5 minutes 10 minutes interval you hear you try to understand and have the faith that you can understand you know it okay that will be a But that will be a blessing for you if you have that feeling that I can do, I know, I understand it. Otherwise, it will be difficult to understand all these things. It is very simple. Just simply you are finding out what is the amount of stationery you have consumed. Okay. So <clears throat> let's start with an example. We'll, we'll explain this particular situation as an example. Here is a question. Exa uh, extract of a receipts and payment account for the year ended 31st of March when 15 is given here. The payment of stationeries has been uh, set as twenty-three thousand. The total payment that we have made for the stationery is twenty-three thousand. The additional information is there. That is, uh, stock of stationery on one four two thousand fourteen. Our current year is remember two thousand fourteen fifteen. So March ending uh, March uh, March thirty first two thousand fifteen is our year ending. So opening will be obviously first April two thousand fourteen. So stationery stock of stationery on opening date was four thousand and closing it was three thousand. we know what to do isn't it i'll just color it black again so that it will be easy for me to explain it uh, with the highlighted figures so yes hmm. so stationery stock of stationery uh, first april there is a opening one what will happen with the opening stationery we are going to add or less very simple it's opening so we are going to add it because we are going to use it this year and what you are going to do with the closing stationery we are going to deduct it because it will be used in the next year right It, this year it is unused and so it will be used next year okay yeah. then coming to the next one creditors for stationery creditors for stationery opening it is 9000 so that means last year's credit purchase credit purchase of stationery so it will be deducted because it is last year's credit purchase and again closing closing creditors were 2500 that means this year's credit purchase so it will be added right this year's closing purchase will be added i'm blinking it so that you can easily understand what i am going to show and what i'm what i'm showing where i'm giving the stress that is very very important for all of you to understand then coming to the next one what is given calculate the stock of stationery consumed now it's very easy what to do let's start with the payment the base will be payment 23000 So total payment or payment of stationery made as per the receipts and payment account was twenty three thousand, right? Along with that, we'll add the first. Uh, we're going to add the items which are to be added. Stock of stationery that is the opening stock of stationery. It was four thousand. So let's add that. Add of uh, opening stock of stationery, four thousand. Then again, the adding is uh, add creditors at the end. That is thirty first March and fifteen two thousand five hundred. So creditors at thirty first March and fifteen two thousand five hundred will be added. After that, we are getting how much? Twenty nine thousand five hundred is the total amount. Okay, twenty nine thousand five hundred. Okay, then coming to the next one, less will be deduction will be done for this uh, closing stock of stationery. This closing stock of stationery is three thousand. So less stationery as on thirty first March two thousand fifteen, three thousand. It will be deducted. Along with that, we have got another deduction of 
creators of last year. So creators as on 1st April 2014 will be deducted 9,000. The total comes to 12,000. it? And after deducting, it comes to 17,500. And this 17,500 is stock of stationary consumed. Stock of stationary consumed. And where it will be shown? It will be shown in the income and expenditure account. Okay, it will be shown in the income and expenditure account, which side? Debit side. Okay, I hope all of you have understood it. And the concept is clear about this. We will take one more sum. And this time we are going to take the terms differently. It is matrix in consumed. Okay, same way you are going to take for st uh, sports material also, other things also you can take in the same way. Okay, there's no problem, no such changes. The base remains the same. What is given here, find out the cost of medicine consumed during 2014-15 from the following information. Okay, what is there? Payment for purchases of medicine was 7,50,000. So the total payment is, sorry, 3,70,000. This is the base. So payment was made 3,70,000. After that, creators for machine medicine purchase was 25,000. Okay, so what will happen with that? Creators for medicine purchase, since it is opening creator, so it is relating to last year, right? So it will be deducted because it is related to last year. Clear? Then again, closing creator. Closing creator, that is 17,000. So closing date, it will be added because it is this year's credit purchase. So it is related to this year. Okay. Everywhere you are going to deduct last year's amount. But in case of stock, you, you are going to do the opposite. This year, wala, this year ka closing stock, we deduct karte hai, last year wala jo hai, usko add karte hai, because last year wala hum log is saal use karenge. Okay, we are going to use last year's stock this year. Now, as we do, uh, if you have, say, um, any book or copy of last year, which is totally unused, you are obviously going to use that. So that is the concept here. So then stock of medicine on 1st of April 2014, opening. So it will be used, so add. It will be added because it will be used this year. And again, closing will be deducted because it will be used next year, right? So that is the concept. Now moving to the next one. What is that? Advance to supplies, suppliers of medicine. Advance to suppliers of medicine. What will happen with that? The opening advance relates to, that is last year's advance, right? It, it relates to this year, so it will be added. Whereas closing advance will relate to Closing advance, it relates to this year. So, uh, sorry, uh, closing advance means this year we have received advance, so it is relating to next year. Is that advance is it? next year. So, this is deduct it. I hope all of you have understood this concept. This year's advance means you have received in this year, it will be used next year. So, let's start uh, the solution. What is there? Payment for the purchase of medicine will be the base. So let's start with that. Payment for the purchase of medicine, 370000 right? Along with that, let's add up the items which are to be added first. First one is the creators as on 31st March 2015, 17,000. So add creators as on 31st March 2015, 17,000. It has been added. Then coming to the next one, uh, stock of medicine on opening date, 62,000. It will also be added. So stock of medicine, Okay, uh, it is given stationary to be medicine. Stock of medicines on 1st April 2014 opening stock will be added 62,000. Then coming to the next one, advance to suppliers for medicine. How much? 11,500. It will also be added. Advance as on 31st of uh, April 2014. It is added 11,500. The total comes to 4,60,500, okay, 4,60,500. From there, what you have to do, do the deductions. What are deductions? First one is the opening creator, 25,000. So creator as on 1st April 2014 of 25,000 will be deducted, right? So along with that, we have stock of medicine, 54,000. That will also be deducted. So stock of medicine as on 31st of March 2015 of 54,000, that will also be deducted. And again, advance to suppliers of medicine of 18,200, that will also be deducted. So advance as on 31st of March, 2015. Okay. Of how much? 18,200, that will also be deducted. 
the total reduction is 19 uh, sorry the total reduction is 97200 and after deducting it we can see that the amount of medicine to be consumed that is medicine consumed the amount of medicine consumed during the year 2014 15 okay amount of medicine consumed during the year 2014 15 it amounts to 363300 rupees it will be shown in the income and expenditure account debit side okay it will be shown in the income and expenditure account debit side okay so this is how it will be shown i hope all of you have understood this and you have learned the treatment of calculation of um, stationaries consumed medicine consumed and even sports material consumed the treatment will be the same remember the formula just okay so we'll end up the class here with this particular video in the next video we'll be learning a full fledged sum where we'll be learning about in the income and expenditure account along with the balance sheet okay till then take care of yourself uh, take care of your studies and do take care of your parents also guardians also okay my dear students please concentrate and uh, try to finish your course as far as uh, as soon as possible okay M move on with as uh, as the classes are going so that we can have a better performance this year also okay with these words i would like to uh, take goodbye from you all and uh, we will meet in the next video till then bye bye